in this video we will try to understand how to design hydraulic circuit so in this particular first part we will try to understand how to find out the theoretical force during the forward stroke of the piston how to calculate the theoretical piston force during the return stroke then as the mass which is resting on this particular surface there will be a static friction and when it starts moving there will be a sliding friction so how to calculate the static friction force or breakaway force and the sliding friction force and what are the basic behind this correct what is the mechanics that is involved in this correct? if the mass is horizontal as well as if the mass is inclined that also we have to see then we have considered double acting cylinder for the design purpose and here we have considered push button operated direction control valve we have prepared an excel sheet also so that you can change the value of mass you can change the value of pressure and you can find out the various values like theoretical piston force piston area piston ring area static friction force and sliding friction force if you want this excel sheet then you can just email me the email address is given in the description part so let us start with our uh, hydraulic circuit design part but please remember that it will be along with the hydraulic circuit it will be the mechanics also that is involved in this so basic is important over here so let us first simulate this circuit hydraulic circuit so we are having push button operated direction control wall in the right envelope mode and the mass is moving in the forward direction and the fluid from the other side through the flow control wall will cause the will go to the reservoir now in this particular case as we have seen we have to find out what will be the piston force theoretical piston force required to move this mass so this mass when it is stationary it will be subjected to the static friction force force when it is moving it will be subjected to the sliding friction force and if this is the direction of motion as we have indicated in the forward stroke this is the direction of motion the frictional force will act in the opposite direction in the same fashion if we push the push button we will get the left envelope mode over here and the fluid will enter on the rod side of the cylinder and will cause the retraction of this particular mass or piston and the fluid from the other side will go two threes to the reservoir so that is indicated over here so if this is the case correct what will be the piston force that is required during the return stroke then at that time what will be the static friction force what will be the sliding friction force so let us first see the this particular free body diagram so weight will always act vertically in the downward direction so this is m m is mass to be moved so w is equal to mg the normal reaction will be always perpendicular to this surface so it is r then if this is the direction of motion frictional force will act in the opposite direction so what is this theoretical force that also we have to calculate and what are the frictional forces that also we have to calculate so let us start with our calculation part so let us assume that dp is the diameter of piston dr is the diameter of the piston rod then from the basic definition of the pressure pressure is equal to force upon area so force will be equal to pressure into area so p1 is the operating pressure during forward stroke in pascal or newton per meter square a1 is the effective piston area during the forward stroke that is pi by 4 dp square because fluid is admitted on this side and this is the effective area of the piston then dp is the piston diameter and dr is the diameter of the piston rod so this is the theoretical piston force in the forward direction during the return stroke it is p2 into a2 correct? where p2 is the operating pressure during the return stroke a2 is the effective piston area during the return stroke or piston ring area also we have to take into consideration so it is pi by 4 now in case of the return stroke we have to subtract the diameter area of the piston rod also so therefore area is pi by 4 dp square minus dr square dp and dr already we have seen these are the diameter of piston and piston rod or piston ring then if the mass is inclined correct it is on the inclination correct then we'll draw the free body diagram for this particular case and we'll try to understand what will be the value of the normal reaction in this particular case also so as you can see over here the weight will always act vertically in the downward direction this is the angle of repose that is angle of inclination at which the mass will start moving in the downward direction by its itself correct so if this angle is alpha by geometry this angle is also alpha now this w will have two component correct adjacent component is cos component and opposite component is the sine component 
Now W is mg, so it is mm into g. So we have substituted W is equal to mg over here. So this component is mmg cos alpha. Correct. Now we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium in such a way that we'll get the value of this normal reaction R because frictional force, as we know that it is mu into R. Now, if it is a static friction force, we have to take into consideration the mu s into r, where mu s is known as the coefficient of static friction. R is known as the normal reaction, which we have to calculate. Mm is the mass to be moved in kg. G is 9.81, that is gravitational acceleration in meter per second square. And alpha is the angle of inclination. Now, if the mass is horizontal, then you can substitute alpha is equal to zero over here. So this R is nothing but mmg cos alpha and how that arrive that we'll see by applying our conditions of equilibrium. So assume that this axis is our x axis and this perpendicular axis or normal axis is our y y axis. So summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. Upward force is positive that is this R is positive and this is negative downward forces are negative. So R is positive that we have taken into consideration that is this particular r and mmg cos alpha is negative so minus mmg cos alpha is equal to zero so we can say that r is mmg cos alpha so that value of r we have substituted over here so we can say that static friction force which is also known as breakaway force is mu s into mmg cos alpha similarly sliding friction force is mu c into r so here it should be mu c so it is mu c into where fc is the sliding friction force and mu c is the coefficient of sliding friction r is the normal reaction which we have already calculated mm is the mass to be moved then g is 9.81 meter per second square and alpha is the angle of inclination now if the force during the return stroke is known then you can easily find out what will be the piston rod diameter so f theoretically is P2 into A2, where A2 is pi by 4 dp square minus dr square. So cross multiply by this 4 over here. So it is 4 into F theoretical and P2 into pi, which are in multiplication, they will come on this side in the denominator. Then transfer this minus dr square on this side. So it is dp square and transfer this term on this side. So we can get value of diameter of piston rod if you want to calculate, can be calculated by square root of dp square minus 4 into f theoretical divided by p2 into pi. Now we have done some sample calculations in our excel sheet. So let us see some input data. Mass to be moved is 300 kg. Suppose now this is the important part static friction coefficient when the mass which is made up of steel moves on the steel surface static friction coefficient is 0 0.15 then sliding friction coefficient is 0.1 suppose we take diameter of piston as 16 and diameter of piston rod as 10 from the standard cylinder and assume that the pressure operating pressure is 6 mpa for this particular case correct we have to find out theoretical piston force during the forward stroke during the return stroke piston area piston ring area static friction force or a breakaway force and sliding friction force so assuming this as the input data let us start with our sample calculation of our first sample calculation for the given hydraulic circuit design so let us calculate the theoretical force during the forward stroke so it is p1 into pi by 4 dp square pressure p1 is 6 mpa so mega pascal we have converted into pascal so mega means 10 to 6 so it is 6 into 10 to 6 diameter of piston which was in mm we have converted it into meter so it is 16 into 10 to minus 3 meter. So we'll get the theoretical piston force as 1206.37 Newton. Then we have to calculate the theoretical piston force during return stroke. So it is P2 into A2. Assuming the pressure to be same, we have replaced this P2 by P1. And area during the return stroke is, we have to subtract the piston rod diameter. So it is pi by 4 dp square minus dr square. So pressure is 6 into 10 to 6 dp is 16 into 10 to minus 3 in meter and diameter of piston rod is 10 into 10 to minus 3 and square of that so you'll get the theoretical piston force during the return stroke as 735.132 newton now the static friction force or breakaway force so 
that is mu s into r and value of r is mm into g into cos alpha so value of mu s is 0 0.15 mass to be moved is 300 g is 9.81 and as it is moving in the horizontal direction mass is moving in the horizontal direction alpha we have taken as 0 and cos 0 is 1 so we'll get fs as 441.45 then to calculate sliding friction force fc it is mu c into r so mu c into mm g cos alpha again alpha is 0 because mass is moving in the horizontal direction mu c is 0 0.1 mass to be moved is 300 and g is 9.81 so we'll get fc as 294.3 newton so we have obtained the various values okay, and which we can confirm with our uh, the excel sheet that we have provided so you can see if you consider the excel sheet that we have already designed okay, considering the 6 MPa pressure okay? here it is correct okay? so now you can see so we have calculated piston force during forward stroke as 1206 which we have already obtained then 735.13 was the piston force during piston stroke it is confirmed sliding friction for 441 and uh, static friction force is 441.45 and sliding friction force is 294.3 so these values which we have already calculated over here you can see the various values which are there now in the excel sheet suppose we change the operating pressure to 3 now before we proceed further correct let us go back to our original slide correct of the excel sheet correct so that now you can see the force which is there correct during the forward stroke is 1206.3715 which is greater than this frictional forces correct 441 plus 294 it is greater than this during the return stroke also correct it is just equal to this summation of these two forces so there is a motion of the piston in the forward as well as in the return direction because the piston force is greater than this particular frictional forces now if you change the pressure correct then what will happen that we have to see so suppose you change the pressure suppose the pressure is 3 mpa then there will be change in the and the mass we have kept as same then there will be change in this particular uh, forward stroke theoretical force during the forward stroke as well as during the return stroke now as you can see the summation of these forces is greater than the uh, what we can say the piston force and therefore there will not be any movement of the piston similarly if we further reduce the pressure correct that is one bar then again this particular frictional forces correct they are much higher than this particular forces during the forward stroke as well as during the return stroke so there will not be movement of the piston similarly if you keep the pressure high and reduce the mass then you can see the piston force is much higher than the frictional forces and there will be motion of the mass so using this particular excel sheet you can easily find out the various values you can change the value of mu s mu c and you can easily get all these particular values so in this our first part correct we have seen how to design the hydraulic circuit and how to calculate the various values like theoretical piston force piston area piston ring area static friction force and sliding friction force in the next part we'll see if the load is vertical correct or if the vertical cylinder is there then what are the various values to be and how the various values to be calculated thank you very much for watching